So this is a DX8 setup for the advanced menus on the Blade 180 CFX. So you need to go into uh, the settings menu. Uh, so if I do that. And in trainer, make sure you are on inhibit. In switch select, you need to make sure that your trainer is set to AUX2. So that will be inhibited as default. So just send that train to AUX2. Then you go to your main screen, go into your servo setup, go to reverse, go to AUX2, and make sure that that is reversed. Now to check this, if you go into the servo setup, your AUX2 channel should be on the left. And when you push the trainer button, it should go to the right. So it's left normally. And when you hold the trainer button, it goes right. That's all the setup and we can now go to the helicopter and see that part. OK, so we're now going to do the uh, advanced setup menu on the C Blade 180 CFX with, with the X8. The, the transmitter settings you've just followed. So you've got your bind button connect set to AUX2 with that channel reversed. So you power up the Helios normal. Wait for it to initialize. Okay, and then you hold the both sticks in the outer bottom corners, hold down the bind button, and that means you're going into the centering menu. Now my swash is actually tilted slightly forward and slightly to the left. So now if I do aileron, I can select the this servo, and then again, and I select the rear servo. So if I just drop that down, so that is level, and then I'll just go to that servo, and one wants to go is that up or down? Let's get back to that and just drop that down. OK, so that is now centred. Now, if you hold down the bind button, you're snapping back into normal mode. So now I've got throttle hold on. So now you can see I've got my normal range. Now, the way to check that you've got zero pitch at mid stick, the easy way, is just to put the blades next to each other and then centre your stick and they should be and they are pretty much equal. Now, to set your pitch, you probably want about, say, 11 degrees pitch. And this, if you know, if you want more than that, you've got a pitch gauge. But if you haven't got a pitch gauge, the two important things are that you've got equal top and bottom. Now, if you look now, I've actually got equal top and bottom because I've set that. Uh, if you uh, if you go into the a servo setup travel and go to pitch channel, if I clear that out. I've cleared that back to 100%, so you can see that um, my pitch, that's positive pitch, and that's negative pitch. And you can see I've actually got more negative than positive, and quite a lot of both. Now, the easy way to tell if you've got 11 degrees of pitch, if you get a ruler and you measure 6 centimetres between the blade tips, that is what you're aiming for, for 11 degrees. Now, at the moment, that's about nearly 7. So if I reduce my travel about 90 and I give it a twitch just to center it that is now bang on six centimeters and then if I go the other way for negative pitch that I've currently got about six and a half so again if I drop that down to let's try 88 and give it a wiggle and that is pretty much bang on six centimeters so that then is your weight how you set the same pitch positive and negative so now I've got um, that zero at mid stick and then I've got the same positive and negative so that's ready to fly.